In a secret government laboratory in South Korea, scientists conduct a series of gruesome experiments on dogs in the hope that they can be used to fight in wars. The program is called Project Silence. Meanwhile, at the Security Bureau, Secretary Young gives Deputy Director Cha some extra money as a thank you for supporting his campaign. Later at home, Cha watches his daughter Kim Min pack her bags as she is about to study abroad. She also packs her deceased mother's book and Cha scolds her, complaining about the unnecessary weight. Kim Min is furious and reminds him that this is the last copy left before storming into his room. That evening, Cha takes Kim Min to the airport. They stop at a gas station and after filling up, Cha tries to pay with his card but Joe tells him the reader is not working and demands cash. Cha notices that Joe has the master key and accuses him of being a tow truck driver posing as an employee. Joe pretends to be innocent and Cha leaves without paying, saying he will bring the money to the owner later. At the airport, Miran and Yura are not allowed to board the plane because Yura forgot to renew her passport. However, Yura blames Miran because she is her manager, which means she will miss her golf tournament. Sunak then approaches them and mistakes Yura for his cousin. Her husband, Byanghak, chases after her and Sunak is scared so she tries to cross the street, almost getting hit by a car. Others quickly pull her back before she gets hurt. Byanghak has to remind her that he is her husband and the two sisters realize Sunak is old. A few minutes later, all of these groups arrived at the bridge outside the city, which was covered in a thick fog. Most of the drivers tried to move around carefully, but there was a guy in a yellow car who was driving like crazy while recording the moment to post on social media. There was also a mysterious car with a cage that was driving a bit recklessly and Cha had to move really fast to avoid it. As the car passed them, Kim Min saw a sad dog in her window. In another car, Car, Dr. Yang was being driven to the lab by two soldiers. The yellow car accelerated and almost crashed into another car, so the driver stopped quite suddenly, blocking part of the road. This forces the bus carrying Byung-hak and Sunak to stop as well, trying to avoid crashing into the fence at the last second. However, the other drivers are not so lucky. A car crashes into the yellow, and this causes a series of accidents involving almost every vehicle on the bridge. The drivers try to avoid or stop, but to no avail, and some of them are forced to leave their vehicles before at the risk of being killed. Then a large truck came along and tried to dodge the bus, which only caused it to tip over and start pushing the other cars into each other. People panicked and ran out of the pile of cars just before the truck stopped. Just then, a police car appears in the opposite lane and crashes into the crane. Back at the gas station, Joe is scolded by the owner for losing money. Soon after, they hear on the radio about a traffic jam on the bridge and Joe deduces that Cha must be stuck there. So he gets in his truck with his dog Jody to go look for him. On the bridge, Cha and Kim Min are still driving in the opposite lane and they see the chaos nearby. The trailer moves forward safely, but Yang's tire gets stuck in debris and loses control, crashes and flips over. A tire flew off and hit Chao's car, sending it crashing into a fence, while another vehicle carrying soldiers crashed into the overturned truck, but the cage truck stopped in time. The driver then checked the cage to make sure the contents were intact. Kim Min thought they should help the people, but Cha told him to stay in the car while they investigated. The soldiers rescued Yang, who kept mentioning the dogs. While Cha stayed with him, the soldiers ran to check the cage and found it open and empty, except for the driver's body in the back. The captain immediately ordered all cell phone signals on the bridge to be jammed. Back at Cha, he took Yang to his car and tried to use his phone to call for help, but he lost the signal and the same phenomenon happened to all the other victims. He also noticed that Kim Min had disappeared. The girl now followed a strange noise and discovered a large dog named E9 banging its head against the fence. Kyung Min tried to give her food to calm her down, but just then Cha came to protect her daughter and E9 ran away. The soldiers tell Yang that the dogs have escaped so they need to activate the control program. Yang activates the software on her laptop as the soldiers tell her that a helicopter is coming and father hears it. He states that no one should fly in the fog and explains that he works for the Ministry of Security before asking about the phone signal, but the soldiers just tell him to stay away. Father protests and tries to grab the radio so the soldiers handcuff him to the steering wheel. Soon after, Joe arrives in his truck and sees the police officer before trying to direct traffic. Joe seizes the opportunity to earn some money by agreeing to pull the agent's cart first. In the cart, Young activates the program that displays a whole line of dogs. The soldiers stepped up their guard when the dogs suddenly ran back. They all have a chip in their heads controlled by Yang's programming, causing them to become violent. The monsters were extremely agile and soon they charged at the soldiers who were using electric batons to try to subdue them. Yang noticed E9 wasn't moving and didn't know why. After many fights and hitting the dogs with helmets, the soldiers jumped into the cage to force the dogs to follow, so they locked them inside. As Yang shuts down the program to calm the dogs, a plane arrives and a group of soldiers land on the bridge. Jody sees this and runs after them so Joe chases after her. 
Father demands an explanation, but Yom simply tells him to ask his boss about Project Silence before runs off to join the army. The dogs are moved to a new cage while Yom runs the program, although he is distracted by Jody's barking. Joe tries to approach him, but is pushed back by the soldiers. Suddenly, Kim Min comes looking for Jody, and a soldier tries to catch him, but Cha stands up to protect him. Just then, a soldier finds a piece of debris on the ground and recognizes it. E9 hits it in the head to remove it. The plane starts to lift the cage containing the dogs and the man on the plane is shocked to see E9 on it. She immediately attacks the soldier and causes the tractor to lose control, dropping the cage to the ground. The co-pilot tries to shoot him, but E9 is too fast and instantly kills him before attacking the pilot. As the plane hit the suspension bridge, E9 jumped up just before it crashed. As it caught fire, the plane spun several times and hung suspended on the suspension, making a deafening noise that drove the dogs crazy. They eventually broke free and opened their cages to escape. The dogs rampaged through cars and pounced on anyone they could find, killing them without mercy. Soon Soon, the crowd panicked and fled as more and more bodies piled up. A dog tried to attack Yang so he threw his laptop at it to distract it. He reacted quickly and bit his pants to pull him over the fence, but father grabbed Yang and pulled him out of his mouth. A soldier appears and starts electrocuting the animal, but a second dog jumps out and kills him. Another animal arrives, so Cha runs away with Kim Min, Joe, and Jody. Yura is unable to reach Miran, who is trapped in the crowd of people running. A dog chases her, so Yura grabs a golf club and hits it before running away with her sister. Joe tries to get into his truck and finds a dog there, so he starts running too. Yang finds a working car so Cha and Kim Min get in with him and drive away after struggling with some debris for a while. Cha doesn't want to stop to pick up Joe and Jody but his daughter forces him to. Joe and Jody climb into the trunk just before the dog can reach them. As the other survivors rush to hide inside the bus, Cha's group moves forward and witnesses the plane stuck on the bridge eventually explode. Debris begins to fall in the middle of the bridge causing the fire to spread through the gas leaking from the truck and block the exit. The fire also caused another car to explode and a lot of debris flew out, breaking the windows of Cha's car. He lost control of the car and started to turn around to avoid the fire, but they still crashed into the fence. Meanwhile, Jung tried to send help, but the helicopter could not fly into the fog and the bridge was too high for the ship to reach. However, he told reporters that they were using all their resources to properly rescue. Back to Cha, he took Yang's walkie-talkie and tried to call for help, but he got no response as another dog jumped into the car. The creature sniffed the glass for a few seconds, but got bored and left. Yang then explains that he developed rescue dogs capable of responding to human voices, but the military forced him to reprogram them for hunting. This is an order from the U.S. and Europe European countries who want killer dogs that can find and kill terrorists. They are trained to recognize the target's voice, but the project fails and the dogs become too aggressive. They stay on deck because the military is trying to eliminate substandard samples. After another attempt, Cha tries to use the radio to contact Young, who tells them to return to the middle of the bridge because the truck's fire contains toxic gas. Cha tells Young about Project Silence and how it relates to the current minister, saying that he has enough evidence to take him down. However, Young informed him that their own division was also involved in the project. At that moment, a few dogs surrounded the car but another explosion occurred and the fire grew larger, scaring the dogs and causing smoke to fill the car. Luckily, the bus arrived to help so the group covered their faces and ran to join the other survivors. The bridge began to collapse so the bus immediately rolled back as the plane finally crashed, causing the largest explosion ever. The fire and shockwaves broke the straps causing the middle of the bridge to collapse. A group of cars crashed into the sea but luckily the bus arrived just in time. Not far away, E9 was packing their bags. When things calmed down, Cha introduced himself and explained that the authorities were delayed by the fog, but assured the survivors that help was on the way. He also also lied a lot, saying that the phones were down because of the explosion and that the dogs were a military dog unit with a severe case of rabies. Everyone was skeptical, but Joe backed Cha's argument and everyone believed him. Joe then finds an abandoned bottle of liquor and steals it before asking Cha to speak privately in the back. Joe wants gas money and Cha surprises him with a nice reward and a medal if he keeps quiet. A few minutes later, the SWAT team comes down from the bridge and heads straight for the bus to evaluate, saying they didn't see the dogs. Cha contacts Young about the potential danger, but Young insists that the soldiers will protect them. Miran is shot in the leg and Yura jumps between her and the dogs, using an object as a shield. As the soldiers are killed one by one, Sunak loses her sense of reality and tries to pet a dog, knocking her to the ground and injuring her before a bullet scares her away. Cha is also attacked by a creature and manages to hold on when he notices Joe hiding under a car. Jody then starts 
starts barking and attracts the dog's attention, so Joe runs away with her while Cha rushes to help her daughter. Kim Min pulls her bag to get it from a dog and Cha wants her to drop it, but she refuses because she wants her mother's book. Cha forced her to let go and pulled her back, but when the dog tried to chase them, a soldier shot him. Then another creature killed the soldier as well. Cha and Kim Min then ran towards the bus, hiding in the luggage compartment. Unfortunately, Cha realized his radio had fallen and he stepped out. He quickly grabbed the radio and took the opportunity to retrieve his daughter's bag and a flare gun. While waiting, Kim Min watches a video of his mother reading to him in the hospital and remembers his father's smile. She is interrupted by Yang, who opens the door and leads them into the main part of the bus. Yang then explains that E9 is the original dog and the others are his clones. She sees them as her children and during the experiment, she had to observe how humans continue to kill their puppies. What she is doing now is not hunting but revenge. Meanwhile, Cha finds the remaining survivors hiding together in a broken down truck. Only Joe, Jody, the two sisters, and the elderly couple remain. Joe admits he told them the truth about the dogs and that Sunak is bleeding profusely. Cha lights a few flares and shoots others into the air before calling Young, who saw the fire on security cameras. Cha explains that the group will try to leave by bus and ask snipers to shoot the dogs, but Young refuses because the reporters will film him and promises that a SWAT team is waiting at the bridge. Desperate, Cha informs him that the survivors know everything and Young hangs up. When the group reaches the bus, Kyung Min tries to open the door, but Young stops him, afraid that the dogs will enter. They now have the bus surrounded, so the survivors try to scare them off with fire but a dog still approaches Sunak and bites him in the stomach. Buying Hack uses a torch to burn the dog and pushes it back, but the dog grabs his leg. The torches start to go out, so Joe drinks his drink first and spits it into the fire, creating a large fire that effectively drives the dogs away. Cha pulls out a flare gun and almost shoots Yang, but instead fires the flare gun at the ground. A flash of light blinds everyone and Yang lets go of Kim Min, who finally opens the bus door. The survivors rush to the bus and Joe kicks Yang for not helping her. The group then realizes that the bus has no keys, so they use Joe's master key to get it working. Meanwhile, Young cancels all press interviews and loses support for his presidential bid. He receives a text message from the minister telling him that he can choose to save the survivors or not. The bus reaches the collapsed bridge and Cha tries to contact the SWAT team, but no one answers. The group argues about what to do as the dogs are waiting outside and Kim Min comes up with a plan. They hide in the luggage compartment with the camera and watch. While they wait, Sunak unfortunately dies. Soon after, the dogs enter the bus and the group pulls the door shut, trapping them. The survivors immediately start hanging out, but Buying Hack refuses to leave his wife. As Cha tried to talk to him, the dogs found the hatch and tried to open it. Buying Hack then told Cha to leave while he stayed behind to close the hatch. The dogs tried to bite Buying Hack's arm and Cha started to pull him, but Joe came to pull him away. Buying Hack then closed the luggage compartment just before the dogs pounced on him and killed him. Cha wanted to run back to save him, but Joe had to stop him and remind him that it was too late. French the group then goes to find the SWAT team, but there is no one around. When Yang finds out who Chao was talking to, he laughs and explains that Young started Project Silence, which is what got him where he is. Angry, Cha calls Young and berates him for his lies, saying that the survivors will escape and that he wants the doctors and press to wait for them or he will make Young regret it. The group wants to use Joe's truck to escape the gas, but the keys fall on the truck. Young searches for her laptop and they come up with a plan to lure the dogs into the cage. Cha will be used as bait and before he enters the cage, Kim Min tells him that she doesn't want to study abroad. She also gives him her mother's book. Yura prepares her golf clubs and finally admits to Miran that she knew her passport had expired. She didn't say anything because she was too scared to enter the tournament. Yang then activates the voice transmission of Cha, who is reading a book. As the dogs start to go berserk, Yura starts hitting golf balls, making them bounce against the bus window over and over again until it is weak enough for the dogs to jump through. The animals immediately reach the cage and began shaking it to reach father. Joe uses this opportunity to get the keys on the bus, but discovers that E9 is still there because she doesn't have the chip. Terrified, Joe ran to his truck, where the others were waiting for him. E9 followed him and attacked Yang as soon as she saw him. Yang picked up the electric baton from the ground and began shocking E9, who suddenly retreated when the ground began to shake. Another section of the bridge collapsed, causing the cage and dog to fall along with other cars. E9 rushed to help him collect his belongings, but the vehicles caused them to slip and fall into the sea. The dog ended up trapped under the rubble and E9 tried his best to help him. 
The cage also slid down but got stuck on the deck at the last second. Soon after, Joe and the others arrived with the truck, but Father told them to stay because the weight of the truck would make things worse. While waiting for the end of book, Cha reads the note his wife wrote to his family at the end of the book. He then sees Kim Min approaching with the hook, so he opens the door and tells him to stay because the dogs are nearby. However, E9 won't attack Kim Min because she is very nice to her. The bridge continues to collapse and the remaining dog falls so E9 jumps and falls too. The cage slides down a little more and Chao holds as much as he can. Suddenly, Kim Min appeared on top of the cage and grabbed the hook before climbing inside with him. Joe and the others then got into the truck and drove off, dragging the cage behind them. The bridge continued to collapse so the truck sped up and everyone covered their faces as they drove through the toxic gas. Joe had to dodge a fire along the way which caused the cage to hit a lot of debris. Another part of the bridge broke here and Joe had to do a crazy move to dodge it, causing the cage to disconnect in the process. When they finally reach the safe zone, the survivors think that Cha and Kim Min are dead, but the cage suddenly appears as its wheels spin due to momentum. As Cha and Kim Min and the others board the truck, Cha promises Joe that he will bring him this medal since he earned it. The truck continues driving and they reach the end of the bridge where the authorities and journalists are waiting for them. Yoon greets them warmly but Cha punches him. He then throws the money on the ground before telling the whole truth to the journalists. Both Cha and Yang present all their recordings as evidence for the experiments. Cha announces that Kim Min does not need to go abroad and they smile happily. Meanwhile on the shore, E9 emerges from the water carrying her last living clone. Then in, she looks at the bridge, planning her revenge.